Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Gal and today I have something pretty incredible to share with you share with anyone that is building apps using a large language model technologies like ChatGPT um, so let me show you how we can use the library called LangChain which I just found out about to really supercharge models like ChatGPT so let me show you the problem. Search for the weight of the moon in Teraton. Get the closest prime number to the result. Of course, it wouldn't do a great job because it doesn't have a calculator, it doesn't have code, and it doesn't have access to the internet. Yeah, it everything looks correct, <laughs> but I think it's not correct. Um, and let me show you how we can know that something something is correct and uh, then we'll compare the results. I built a small application, I'll, I'll, in a few minutes I'll show you all the code, it really tiny bit of really dirty code. So the same question, let me press play and I'll show you. So this model now has access to much more tools like search. So weight of the moon in teratons, and the search came with the result, approximately this much kilograms. So it returned the, the results in kilograms, not in teratons. So I need to convert the mass of the moon from kilogram to teratons. This is the thoughts of the model. So it used Python code. This is the number in teratons. Then now I need to find the closest bigger nu uh, prime number. It used a library called SymPy, and apparently it has a next prime function. I, I'm not going to calculate it by hand, but I'm pretty sure this is much more accurate because it has access to the internet and code than this one. And I can tell you this is a much smaller number. And we can check if this is prime or not by going to Wilform Alpha, pasting this number, and it should tell me if it's, okay, it is a prime number. So let me show you how easy it is to set up something like this. I'm, I'm going from the end to the beginning, not from the beginning to the end, because it's really simple. And I think once you'll understand like the concepts, it's gonna be very, very easy for you to implement your own models. So this is the tools the model has. When you give the model a tool, you give it a name, and when is it useful to use that tool? So I gave him both big search and search, Search is like the small uh, knowledge that uh, Google give you when you search for something and big search is like the free top results and the links. Wiki is just uh, Wikipedia API and Python code is when you need to execute uh, Python code. I try to tell him to not use libraries but he <laughs> it keeps trying to use them because sometimes it hallucinates uh, libraries that doesn't exist and there is the function. So let me show you what this function is about. So when the model is trying to like search for something, the function should take out the query. Like if, if I search what's the weight of the moon, it should take the query, take this sentence, paste it into Google, you get a result and return to this function the result. I want to show you the Python code. So this is something that I created myself and I want to show you how easy it is to uh, create new tools because the only thing you need is input of text, output of text, and, and the code can do that. So you can take Python code and get the print results. Um, so yeah, this is just a defined function, execute and capture up to output. You just redirect the output, we'll be able to return it and using the exact function, which is just, it's a Python function that takes code and executes it. Uh, and then I just created a Lambda function that pretty much does nothing here, which is run Python and get print. And then I just give it to the tool. Um, yeah, so it's incredibly powerful. I, I just starting to imagine all the things you can do with that and I'm extremely excited about it. If you're interested in the code, you'll also need to import those things. So let's just create a tool together that will allow the model to answer questions that it can't answer right now. So 
what is the second word in this question? Okay, so <laughs> it would search for it. It has no idea what... Okay, it actually succeeded. Oh, it created Python code that splits the input and... Okay, so it did succeed at it. Last time I tried it, it didn't have access to Python code, so it's actually more creative than what I imagined. Fifth word in this. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe it would just use the same method as before, but I think fifth would confuse it more. So yeah, sometimes this happens. Okay, so it just... Yeah, it it's created Python code that uh, can't run. So, of course, it would just throw an error, but we can try it again. I thought it can't do it, but apparently when it has access to the Python code, it would it just uses it to, to get the correct answer. So, yeah, but let's just play with it a bit. Let's do prove. Prove the co let's conjecture. Okay, so okay, it just couldn't do that, of course. Print the five hundred and sixty eight thousand two hundred and twenty two the prime number. It would use Python code. But I do hear defense on my computer, so it's doing something. Okay, I'm lost for words about this. Hopefully you enjoyed it and learned uh, about LLM tools. Um, yeah, I decided to not focus too much on the production quality, uh, just to get one video out because so much time I'm just thinking about making videos and I'm finding out cool things and I never do it. So if you want to check more about about uh, LangChain, you can just look it up in Google and it has like a lot of uh, documentation. So what we use here is called an agent and you can use, you can see like what are models, prompts, indexes, memory, chains and agents. And what you saw here is like the highest level so hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you learned something new and you're going to use it to do good things in the world see you in the next video